What's going on guys? I got some great news. 208 Performance and Polish wanted to sponsor Falcor some parts and we got them today. So let's check them out. We got some badass five point harnesses here. From RJS Racing. Boom. It's got the quick turnbuckle latch. Easy in and out in case everything happens. Press, twist, in and out. Five point, we got a matching set. So we can take people for rides, see if we can make them puke, you know, pass out, some fun stuff like that. Let them feel some boost. Cause we gonna put 17 pounds of boost and probably 150 shot of nitrous for the big end on this bad boy, when all said and done. But yeah, and then uh, here's the other thing they sponsored us with. Some Jags rims. Come on, camera, get you to work. 17 inch by 4.5. I'm gonna match Falcor's back. We got some 15 inch matching set boom right there some hoosiers on there uh 28 10 fives so we run small tire i like to play small tire you know beat up on some fools that's what everybody's running nowadays anyway anybody make uh, big tires hook making small tires hook that's where it's at right on guys i just want to throw a shout out to 208 performance and polish thank you for the parts much love guys now that we got the front uh, spoiler mocked up, I'm going to run town here in a minute and grab some sheet metal because I uh, ran out. I don't have enough big enough. But I do have enough to finish uh, filling in the plugs that I want to do where the old bumper came through. So we've got our trusty cardboard here. We're going to template these out, knock them out on the plasma cutter, and tack them in. Cut out. Let's go test. See how she fits. Okay. Slide it up and inside. Right. Just a little big there, which is okay. It's okay. We'll trim that up, and I think it's gonna work out. Transfer over to the sheet metal. Yeah, I found a piece of scratch. That'll work for what we want to do. I'm get my marker. I always lose my markers, man. It's like losing your marbles. Yeah, he lost them good, didn't he? Fit some right in here. Put the ink side down, that way it transfers to the right side. Yeah, that's the work. Let's just do a little doo doo. Transfer it over. We'll go cut this out and we'll repeat it on the same side. We'll tack them in. That's the way it goes. Alrighty guys, got her cut out. Plasma cutters are a lifesaver, man. If you don't got one, this is a DMB special. It's a Jurassic Viper Cut. Works on 210, 120. Either way, it's a pretty good little machine. I think I paid like 555 bucks, maybe 600 bucks for it. And it uh, uses the same tips that you can get down at Harbor Freight, so it's a win-win on that one. And it's been pretty good so far. I've cut up quite a bit of stuff, but yeah. If you ain't got one, get one. They're nice. I like them. Let's test fit here. Yep, once we clean that up, that's going to fit in there nicely. Alrighty, we got our plugs uh, put in where we had the bumper. It's not the prettiest, but we've got that one plugged up. Got that one plugged up. We're getting the spoiler all finished up. And then we're gonna move on into making the shifter mount on the inside, because we are going from a manual to an automatic. I have banged gears for three years. It was a lot of fun, I won't lie. Bang gears fun, but clutches, they got expensive. And I got tired of burning them up. So uh, we're gonna try an automatic. And uh, so what we gotta do, yeah, I'm thinking we got our motion race work sh awesome operator shifter here with CO2 assist for the turbo 400 or the power glide. It goes to either one. Got the brake on that side, but I need to mount it right about here somewhere is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna build a bracket coming off the seat mounts here and the seat mount there and then I'll come up 
and out and hold on to it there. And then they'll keep everything clear here. We'll probably put the CO2 bottle back there on that side or this side yet. I haven't decided. Probably that side. Maybe this side. Uh, I don't know. And then the nitrous. we got to figure out where to put the nitrous too. Because yes, we are putting a 150 shot of nitrous up to a 300 shot of nitrous on this bad boy just for the big end. So when those people think they're going to get around me, I go, nope, sorry, sucker. I'm going to blow your nose off. Boom, later. But uh, yeah, that's the plan, man. So that's what we got going on. I'll uh, bring you up to date once we get a couple mount ideas. And uh, yeah. Rock on, guys. Alrighty guys, we just got the shifter bracket welded up. Here's what it looks like. It's going to go in between the two seats. I'm pretty stoked about it. It's going to drop right in there. That bolts onto the shifter. And then I can move it forward or backwards wherever I need it. And then I'll make a couple of holes in the seats too. Brackets where it goes. There and there so I can move it in and out and dial it in just right. I think that's going to work out perfect. Next is drill a couple of holes in the truck and the seat brackets and we'll get them mounted in there. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute. Uh, we'll get back at it. The bracket all welded up. Got the mount on the bottom of the shifter. Let's go stick it in place and see how it fits. All right, that's gonna sit right there. We'll drill it and put a bolt through there. But for the most part, that's what it's gonna be right there. Put her in gear, let off the button. Wow, 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 little sucker! Yeehaw, I'm getting excited now. All right, we just gotta pull them in the lines. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. Either the bottle's gonna go over there, over here, or over here. But it'll pull them in, I think on the 400, it goes in the back, and then it'll come around. And uh, yeah, I'll do some close-up shots here in a minute on what the shifter looks like, but uh, other than that, I think that's gonna work. Cool, guys. All right, guys, here's a couple of close-up shots of what we did. We went in between the frame of the seats there, welded the bar, tab brackets, came up, almost like a mountain bike seat post coming straight down. Like I say, we'll drill it through here, that drops down into there. We can adjust it forward and back however we need to. This goes forward and back on that little tab there. But yeah, it's gonna work out pretty good. Bang, bang. Let off the button and hang that. Oh. All right, guys, take it easy.